The nationally determined contributions, NDCs, meet the commitments made by countries to face climate change. They include adaptation to climate change and mitigation actions, the reduction of greenhouse gas emissions and other atmospheric pollutants. Their implementation brings about benefits, reduction of the number of deaths, number and length of stay in hospitals, number of sick leaves and respiratory and cardiovascular disease cases related to the quality of the air, among other consequences for the public health system, the companies, and the state. In order to quantify the benefits brought about by NDCs, the World Health Organization developed a tool called Carbon H. Carbon H allows legislators, voters, decision makers, and entrepreneurs to have the information they need on the expected effects on health of the enhancement of the air quality. The NDC, as prepared by Colombia, encompasses 148 measures aimed at reducing greenhouse gas emissions by 51% by the year 2030, as compared to 2014. By using the Carbon H tool, it is estimated that some of the health co-benefits of implementing the NDCs are Avoiding 25,600 deaths over the period 2021 to 2030 and 3,800 per year after 2030. As of 2030, 2,750 cases of hospitalization per year caused by respiratory and cardiovascular disorders will be avoided reducing 892,000 asthma episodes in children per year after the year 2030. This represents economic benefits for the public health system of up to $12.9 billion during the period 2021 to 2030 and of $1.8 billion per year or the equivalent of 0.64% of GDP as of the year 2030. Carbon H is free of charge for countries, and PAHO is committed to providing the necessary technical cooperation to make the most of it by adding the healthcare costs and tangible figures to the climate actions. You're the only one missing. Visit www.paho.org and get acquainted with the experiences, applications, and possibilities offered by Carbon H.